YouTube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm going to be doing a, sort of an unboxing video. I just wanted to try um, a new subscription service this year. I decided I wanted to try a new one as a sort of New Year's treat to myself. And I've been reading a lot more romance, so I wanted something that covered romance but not rom-coms. And I wanted it to come from the UK and, and that can be quite difficult to find someone in the UK that will send romance books that aren't rom-coms or sort of more the chick lit category and I'm looking more for your sort of um let me think uh Krista and Becca Ritchie your Colleen Hoover your Brittany C Cherries that's the sort of thing I was looking for so I've managed to find one subscription service which I've signed up for so I'm excited to see uh what they have sent me um and I picked rather than the box where you get all the goodies I just wanted the books so I'm going to get two books from that and they have arrived um I did tried two romance blind date with the books off Etsy and they have both arrived. And then I also um, found a company called Rare Birds, which sent out like a box, like a hardcover box, I'll show you in a minute. And they put three books wrapped up inside it. And it's a really nice thing actually, I think if you want to send it to a friend or someone for a present, it's really nicely packaged. So anyway, I thought I would unwrap them and you could see my initial reactions here. And then maybe um, if there's something you're interested with, I'll link them down below in the description so you know where I got them from in case um, we have massive success and you're inspired to go. Not sponsored, not sent for free, just, you know, if they're nice, why not? And yeah, let's see if they're any good. Okay, so the first one is from A Little Love Gift. I believe that's what they're called. Um, they have an Etsy shop. So on the front, it's got reading gives us some place to go when we have to stay where we are, which I think is a lovely quote on a bookmark. And then I've got um, an organic peace tea from Pucker Tea. And then, oh, yummy, a dairy milk bar. So that's really nice. And then the package is really nicely wrapped as well in brown paper. There's a little advert for the company it says hi i'm kate i own and run a little love gifts my small business is based in a beautiful little village in lancashire we specialize in creating book gifts that are unique for all occasions so it said besides my love for reading i set up my small business as i struggled to find the perfect gifts for family and friends therefore i began to create gift boxes filled with books tea biscuits and lots of other treats they loved them and so a little love gifts was created so I think that's a really um, lovely idea for a small business. So let's get in and see what the book is. I'm just hoping it's not one I already have. I feel like some of these may be, but we'll try. Okay, I'm going in. Are you ready? Ah. It looks like it's an interesting one. It's called eight perfect hours by leah lewis uh, so it says on the back when noel and noel and simon's lives collide one snowy evening they spend eight perfect hours stuck side by side believing that they'll never see each other again but soon their lives become entangled in ways they never expected and it's going to change everything so this has got blurbed by marion keys the most romantic heartwarming book um I'm, I'm excited i've not heard of this one it's more along the chiclet lines than i would normally maybe go for but i do read a lot of these sort of books anyway and it's just really nice to have found one that i haven't heard of and i think it sounds fun so i'm looking forward to trying this one okay so on to the next one this was another etsy company called the leo and co a blind date with a book and for this you could just pick the um the genre that you wanted so i picked romance um, it says we really hope you love this particular leo and co blind date with a book each book's brand new but one that we have read and loved so we hope you do too which book will you discover well let's find out i was just worrying then that it was going to be the same the same one it's not oh this is interesting i recognize this name Oh, from the best-selling author of the Bridgerton series, Brighter Than the Sun, The Linden Sisters by Julia Quinn. So this says, ah, oh, it's the second book 
in a duet so that's a bit disappointing because I haven't got the first one so if I want to I now have to pick up that one and I don't really want to read the back in case it ruins it for me so that's a bit annoying although it probably looks like one that I might enjoy reading so I'll have to look at picking up the first one but yeah that does disappoint me that they've sent me a second in a series um it looks like it's you know earls and um and people looking for husbands and probably set in sort of a olden setting it doesn't say here uh but I think the first one is called everything and the moon um yeah, so that's a shame, but I will definitely try and pick up the first one and then maybe get to this one. Okay, so now I'm going to talk to you about the one that was sort of the, the start of all of this. And that is Words and Kisses. So there's two books for this. And I've got a little note that said, These two couples prove that opposites really do attract and makes good book fodder. So on, um, on this website for Words and Kisses, she has a lot of different books in sort of shop that you can buy separately and a lot of them are American books that I've seen on a lot of American booktubers channels and ones that I haven't heard of sort of that you don't see in your average shop. I love um, this paper it's got like underwear on it and various different things which I think is really cool. Um, so let's open these and see. I'm, I'm really got my fingers crossed that these are going to be winners because then I'll be really excited every month to, um, to find my books. Oh, so the first one is called Made in Manhattan by Lauren Lane. This says... Raised in the privileged world of Upper East Side Manhattan, Violet Townsend always says the right things, wears the right clothes and never rocks the boat. So when a friend of her beloved grandmother asked Violet to teach her newly discovered grandson how to fit in with society, with the city's elite, Violet immediately agrees. Her task, to prepare Kane Stone to take his place as heir to his family's company, but he's not exactly an eager student. Born and raised in rural Louisiana, Kane can only play along for the, is only playing along for the payout at the end. He's not interested in a relationship with the grandmother he just met and has no patience for the uppity Violet's attempts to turn him into a suit-wearing, museum-attending gentleman. But somewhere between antagonistic dinner parties and tortured tux fittings, Kane and Violet begin to find a begrudging respect for each other and perhaps something more. That sounds really interesting. It's been blurbed by Jill Shalvis, which I really love her books. So I'm excited about that. So let's see what the next one is. I like the fact that I haven't heard of any of these, which is really good. Uh, it's always nice to be surprised. Oh, this sounds good. This is called Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly and has pictures of food on the front. Yes, please. Uh, recently divorced, Dahlia Woodson is ready to reinvent herself and she's found the perfect opportunity, the hit cooking competition show, Chef Special. Falling flat on her face on the first day is admittedly not the best start, but Dahlia's not going to let it mess up her focus. London Parker is also there to win. As, as the first non-binary contestant on Chef Special, they have a lot to prove and they have enough on their mind without being distracted by the pe pretty contestant who crashed into them on day one and hasn't really stopped talking since. After filming a few episodes, Dahlia and London grow closer and things start to get a little steamy as they spend more time together outside of the show. Suddenly, suddenly winning isn't as important as I've been thought, but when their relationship starts to feel the heat, both in and out of the kitchen, Dahlia and London realise that love doesn't always follow a recipe. That sounds really interesting. Um, got some good diversity, involves food and a cooking competition. Yes, I'm really pleased with that. Okay, and I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I'd got this thing from Rare Birds, so you can see how pretty it is. It's um, a hard bookcase that says Rare Bird Books, and I've picked the rom-com. And then inside, it's got three books wrapped up uh, in beautiful paper. So I'm gonna pull them out. And there's a little thing in here that says handpicked for Eleanor on it. Um, so if you were getting, oh, I'm not looking because it's got the ones on there that are in there. I've, I've sneakily seen one and I know that I've already got it. So um, Tracy's sitting over there because she's visiting me for the weekend. So if she hasn't, maybe I will give it to her. Um, but it's 
a good one otherwise i wouldn't have it on my shelf right so let's open these they've got beautiful like tissue paper wrapping this is the one that i've already got it's the love hypothesis uh, by Ali Hazelwood, which I know that loads of people are loving um, and is meant to be really, really good. Have you? No, so Tracy it. said she hasn't got it, so she'll be getting that one. Yay. Okay, let's hope that I haven't already got all of these because that would be really sad. Let's open this next one. Oh, I have, I've got this one too. You and Me on Vacation by Emily Henry. Have you got this one? She hasn't got this one either. She's gonna be getting lots. This is about two best friends who always go on these trips together um, and something has happened. You're sort of going forward and back in time. Something has happened between them and you don't know from the beginning what that is. And now they're, it's like five or six years later or 10 years later and they're meeting up to go on another trip and I think they find like a romance. I've, I've read about a third of this and then it, well, I wasn't feeling it at the time, but I definitely think I'm gonna go back to it in the summer. So Tracy, another lucky one for you. Okay, third one before the dogs start barking. I haven't got this one. It's called One Year of Ugly by Caroline McKenzie. It says, meet the Pal um, Palachios family. When the beloved Aunt Celia dies, Yola and her family discover she's been keeping a huge secret. She was in serious debt to the local crime lord, Ugly, and they must do his bidding until the debt's cleared. So far, so ugly. Then, Ugly's distracting, gorgeous right-hand man, Roman, arrives on the scene, and Yola just can't help herself. Could this wildly inappropriate and very messy romance be the perfect antidote? Set in Trinidad and told with the wry humour and irreverent wit one year of ugly is a story of family first love and finding home i think that sounds brilliant so very good so i've got some really good books actually i think there's one that i was a bit disappointed but i will get the first one in the series and give that a go there's two that i already owned but when you own so many books that's quite normal to happen and um, but all the others i hadn't heard of so i think that's really good i'm really pleasantly surprised i'll definitely be keeping going um with words and kisses because i think um they're a really good company and i might go and shop some of the books well i don't want to shop too many books in case they put them in their book box for another month but yes i'm pleased with that so i'll as i said the description down below the links to these different companies will be there if any of you fancy it and um, i will see you in the next one bye for now booktube